excited for Christmas. I'm super, super excited for Christmas. But the one thing that I don't like about Christmas is all the waiting. You have to wait and wait and wait and it seems like forever and we have our advent calendars don't we and we count down the days oh and it seems like there's too many days maybe you're so excited about christmas you might have even put your decorations up dead early this year but i bet even though you've got your decorations up dead early you've still got to wait and wait and wait again Oh, waiting is so hard, but when it comes to Christmas, waiting is definitely worth it, isn't it? Now, today's story is about three people who had to wait a very long time, and it's a true story. This really happened. Would you like to hear it? Okay, are you sitting comfortably? Then let's begin. There were three kings and they lived in a very fine palace and they had all the finest things they could want the best food beautiful clothes plenty of jewels and gold servants to make them anything they wanted but these three kings wanted something more than anything any of their treasures that they already had. These three kings wanted to see God's special saviour. Now they'd heard about God's special saviour, they'd heard that God was sending him one day and he would come to earth and he would save the people who loved him and trusted him. But nobody knew when Saviour would come. So these kings decided to wait. And they waited. And they waited. And they waited. In fact, they waited not just a week, not even a fortnight, not even a month, but years and years and years. And these three kings were very old now. They'd waited so long. But no matter how long they waited, they never, ever stopped believing that God would keep his promise and send his saviour. One day, they were stood on the balcony of their palace, looking out at the night sky, when suddenly, blazing in front of them, was a huge star brighter than any of the other stars in the sky that night, shinier than any of the other stars they'd ever seen, amazing to see. And they looked and they knew, this is it, he's here at last, God's saviour has finally come. Oh, they were so giddy with excitement. They were dancing and shouting and laughing. The servants in the palace thought they'd gone mad. Anyway, they saddled up their camels and their horses. They put their best treasures on. They got their best clothes on ready and they set off. Now, you might think it would be quite fun to ride a camel. I wouldn't mind having a turn of that myself, to be honest. But imagine if you had to ride a camel, not just round a field, but for miles and miles and miles. These kings set off on their camels and they were riding and riding and riding for days and nights and weeks and months. They were going uphill and downhill and round the corners and over hedges and then they had to splash through rivers. They were journeying for months and months following the star they'd seen in the sky. Just when they thought their journey couldn't get any longer, the star suddenly stopped. 
The kings began to get excited again. They dusted down their best clothes, which by now they looked a bit bedraggled. They dusted them down, they, they got themselves ready. They knew they were about to meet God's saviour. And as they journeyed towards where the star had stopped, they realised this was it. This was the moment they'd been waiting for. As they went through the door, there in front of their eyes was a small Jesus, God's saviour for the whole world. The kings immediately took off their crowns and they knelt down before Jesus and they gave him special presents, their most treasured possessions, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And they worshipped Jesus there because they knew this boy was no ordinary boy. This was God's perfect saviour. This was who they'd been waiting for their whole lives. And they followed the star right to his door. 